How long has it been? And where am I? I think Imowen is here. Here somewhere. Why is he doing this? Those eyes, those blue eyes, that's all I see sometimes. He stands there, watching me. Sometimes he talks, but I don't know what he's saying most of the time. I don't even know his name. Then... Then there is the screaming. I hear screaming, and sometimes it's coming from me. Then there's pain. Most of the time I feel nothing, but sometimes there is this terrible pain. He does things to me, and I pass out. This... This is horrible. I cry and cry, and sometimes I want to die. But I never say it. I just reach a point where I scream in pain. But I don't talk to him. I never talk to him. It makes him mad sometimes. I know it does. I can see the frustration in his eyes. Sometimes, I dream. I dream of nice things. Things with the jantus in it. Where we are together in our tent, or in a nice warm inn, and have just eaten a hearty meal. Then we wake up next to each other and I kiss his face. But there are times when I have these dreams and he comes in. The blue eyes. And he tells me that this is what weak, pathetic beings want. I have a heritage. I am squandering it. I'm not worthy to have it. I'm not worthy to be a child of Ball. And I always remember what he tells me in those dreams. And I always know when it's a dream and that it's not real. But he can reach me there too. I like the times when he doesn't come, and Imwen and I are playing pranks on people in Candle Keep. She always used to rope me into those, even if I was just usually the lookout. What I wouldn't do to go back to those times, to escape this place, to be free of those blue eyes, to be with the Jantus again, to be anywhere but here! Ah, the child of Ball has awoken. It is time for more experiments. The pain will only be passing. You should survive the process. Interesting. You have much untapped power. Do you even realize your potential? More intruders have entered the complex, Master. They act sooner than we had anticipated. No matter, they will only prove a slight delay. What? Imowen? What's going on? He messed with your head too, huh? All I know is we were near Baldur's Gate and got jumped. I've awoken in a strange mage's dungeon, and Imowen has released me from my cell. We must find a way to escape this place, although I suspect the exits might be barred by magic. We might be able to find a way to leave if we explore the area, although we'll need to be careful. Who knows what traps this mage has laid or what guards he employs. I should keep an eye out for weapons and armor to equip myself with, too. Likely some of my items are hidden somewhere in this complex if he hasn't destroyed or sold them already. I don't think I want to remember at all. He's been doing things to us. Orin, we have to get out of here. <sighs> Alright, I'm, I'm moving. I ache all over, though. Yeah, me too. But my head hurts the most. Yours too, by the sound of the screaming. We just have to get out of here. Uh, uh, I'll not let a little headache get in my way. It isn't like normal pain, Orn. It's on the inside, like my bones made a little dagger, and it won't go away. Oh, it's awful. Don't look at me like that. It just hurts, all right? Must have been the noise. There was a fight. Assassins came after our captor, I think. There's people dead all over, and the fighting is still going on. I could hear it. Are you going to get moving, or do I leave without you? Right you are, let's go. 
Good. I didn't want to go by myself. I need you around, Orin. I don't want to be here alone. We should look in that room to the west first. West and just a bit north. I think I saw some weapons in there. It's a room off the corner of this one. I don't think it's our gear. They probably sold our best stuff, but anything is better than nothing. Now let's go. Oh, I had some really good equipment too. I hardly remember anything that happened upon our capture. I only remember how Jahira and Minsk were with us. Many of our friends had already left when we were captured. Who else was there? Was it Ajantis? Of course, Ajantis is my betrothed, Imuin. He traveled ahead to Waterdeep to obtain his family's approval for our wedding, and afterwards to Am to solicit his knightly accolade from the most noble order of the Radiant Heart. Oh well, there is no use dwelling on old times. We should try to get out of here as soon as possible. Showing off your magic skills, are you, Imuin? Okay. <clears throat> it will be done. Certainly. I feel yes, like I've aged it. twenty years. Yes, without doubt. Minsk? Ah, Minsk will be free. These bonds will not hold my wrath. Butts will be liberally kicked in good measure. Uh. Minsk. Your mighty warrior spirit must find these bars unbearable. I can't break these bars. Time is short for talk that is small. Release me, I will rain beatings down upon all those who have dared to touch me, and... And Dinahair, she will be avenged. Uh, Dinahair, there is another trapped here. Trapped? Her spirit? Her spirit is trapped in a cage created by my failure. I was to guard her, but she... She... They, they killed her as I watched, you see. I know not who they were, but but I will redeem myself. Minsk, that is horrible. I am so sorry for you. I won't cry for the dead. I won't. Okay, maybe a little, but I will staunch the flow of tears with righteous fury. Lullaby and good night, evil. Minsk will make you pay. Will you help me? We must join together once more, and our fury will be such that bards will run their quills dry. Yes, ink will be scarce wherever we go. I'm so sorry, Minsk. Dunhair was a really good woman. Hmm. I will try and free you, but I don't know how to open your cell. I do not know either. The bars have no lock at all. They are smithed together. I am proud that they feared me enough to imprison me permanently. <laughs> Maybe if I get him angry. Are you insane? Perhaps it is best if I didn't release you. You, you turn your back on those in need? You are abandoning me in my hour of shame? You, you are no better than those that killed Dinah here. You are filth, that I called a friend. Do not make me add your ass to the kicking list. I would do so reluctantly, but I will do it. Choose your path now. Y you're quite clearly insane. You shall stay right here. I will make sure you do not live long enough to abandon more friends. I will, I will, I will do all of this as soon as I can get these bars open. Rark! The bars. They bend and twist with my berserker strength! Minsk and Boo are free! No, you will not! No! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh! Oh, my head. Oh, you are a smart one! I understand now! You said what you did just to get me mad! Mad enough to break free! <laughs> you are as smart as Boo sometimes! Oh, Minsk. <laughs> At least he figured it out. Now we can resume our adventures together. There are friends to avenge and villains to smack about the face and neck. Right, Boo? <sighs> together we shall make our enemies answer for our fallen. Answer they will, and my sword shall be the question. We shall have fistfuls of sweet, sweet justice, and our enemies will be stains beneath our feet. What? Yes, but, but, all right. Boo tells me that I am raving again. I did not notice a difference, but I shall heed his words nonetheless. Come, we must go now. Yes, Minsk and Boo and you together again. Beware, villains! I will force justice down your evil, evil throats. Ah, uh, I see you still have that rodent. Dare I ask how you have kept it hidden from our captors? Don't ask questions. Better left to age sages. 
Boo is quick and evasive, and there is ever so much of mints to search. There is no hope of getting us apart. Ew, I really don't want to think about that too much. Minsk and Boo are Minsk and Boo, and we shall not be separated. Shall we go? The butts of evil await my boot print. Uh, right you are, Minsk. Wherever evil dust lay its dirty feet, we shall mop the floor with its buttocks. I have lost myself in your words, but Boo thinks you're just ducky. Onward. And... Jahira. Precise. Quickly, we must get out of here before whoever did this returns. Oh, I'm so glad I to swear. see you. Traveling with you is never dull. I'm glad you two are alive. Khalid was with us too, wasn't he? Do you have? Do you know why we're here? Any clue would be helpful. I'm sure we could navel gaze all day about what brought us here, but it shall certainly prove pointless if we do not remove ourselves from immediate danger. I know not who has entrapped us here either, but I would rather not find out simply waiting for them to return. We are at a disadvantage in this place. I will recount what led us to this if you wish, though I think I have little to offer that you do not know already. My husband, Khalid, and I have traveled with you for some seasons now, and the places we have seen number too many to name. Your unique heritage has proven a magnet to adventure, for better or worse, and your foster father was right in directing us to watch over you. We remain in your company as friends more than guardians, and our ex exploits together have left the land for the better. We have earned many enemies, but we have dispatched them all. Whoever has trapped us now is certainly powerful to have done this so easily. Once we know, we will deal with them in due course, but for the time being it is more important we retrieve our friends and companions and leave this place. Where's Khalid now? He's not with you. I do not know where he is, and it worries me. No doubt he was taken as we were, though it seems we were all meant for different fates. From the state of my head, I think I have been drugged, though I have been spared any serious physical mistreatment. You, however, look as though you have been treated most unfavorably, and I should not like to think of Khalid receiving the same. Huh. I will help, but your cage seems to be sealed magically. I don't know. If you are of sufficient strength, it is possible the cage may be broken. If not, you may have to search for whatever key it might need. Do try to hurry. I wish to be out of here before the owner returns. The ease of our capture suggests it may be beyond our power to resist. It would be best to face the culprit another day on our own terms, so go and be quick. We must free ourselves soon. Jahira is kept captive in the same room that I was in, in a cage closed with a magical lock. It does not look as if it can be picked. Perhaps there is a key elsewhere in the dungeon. I hope so. Without hesitation. People, loud noises, people come in. I think somebody died right on here, but I don't see any trace of them anymore. But there's a body here. This oh, will not I take long. I feel awful. I feel like I've reached the point of near death. And there's no healer to heal me. I'm bruised. I have sc some scars. Ugh, looking at my arm. It's on my... Mm, I don't even want to look underneath my clothes to see how scarred I am. Come on, guys. What do you want? Good to go? This is the worst experience in my life. Minsk. Seems you have gained in skill. I still have some healing spells on me. I have my abilities I used to have as well. Speak. Minsk. Have you forgotten your... S Minsk can still heal. He tells me. And Emelin? What are your spells? Emelin... Changes up some of her spells. But she'll have to rest to memorize them again. Strange being with Imoen now that she knows how to... 
be a magic user. I never thought of her as a mage when we were young. Okay, I think we'll need to hurry up because we don't know when he's going to come back. Blue eyes. Oh, there's a room here. Is this a portal to somewhere else? Well, we need to find the key to get Jahira out. I'm not going to leave her. Without doubt. Oh, is this the room you were talking about? What's that? A big golem. Quickly and precisely. I've seen flesh golems before. But... Hello. Prisoners, you must not escape. The master does not will it. Wow, a golem. Powerful magic stuff. Odd that it's not hostile. I suppose its maker didn't expect us to escape, so it never got orders for restraining us. They only do exactly what they are directed to do, and they don't really think. If it hasn't been told to keep quiet, we might get some information out of it. Oh. Prisoners, you must not escape. The master does not will it. Who is this master you speak of? I am not permitted to speak with prisoners. Return to your cells. It is the master's wish. Where are we, and why have we been brought here? You are his prisoners. He has brought you to his home because he owns you now. You must return to your cell. It is the master's wish. Um, the master wants me to be free. Yes, he's the one that released me. Only I release the master's prisoners. You are his and must return to the cells. It is his wish. I will not return to that cage. Do you think to stop me from leaving? I am not bound to stop you. The guardian will stop you from leaving. Return to your cells. It is the master's wish. Who or what is the guardian? The guardian will keep you from the master's chambers. You must return to your cells. It is the master's wish. Oh, uh, okay. Without hesitation. Oh, weapons. Long sword. I can use that. Imowen. Short sword, or do you use staffs now, Imowen? A key. Um, use something for mints. Oh, a two-handed sword. Hmm. Uh, Jahira. What would Jahira... Jahira knows how to use a staff. But she was using... Um, what was it called? Scimitar. That's what it was called. Oh, my head. Still not clear. Maybe I'll get a quarter staff. Well, that's four, enough weapons for us. I think. Imowen, can you use this? She says she cannot use this short sword anymore. Okay, then you use the quarterstaff. I don't know what Jahira's going to use. But I know how to use long swords. Minsk, you were really good at using your two-handed sword. And I don't know who's going to use this. Don't need it. Maybe there's a weapon I can find. What does she know? I mean, she's a druid. Warhammer, mace, I don't know. Something's better than nothing. There's a picture here. Imowen, do you still remember yeah. how to pick locks? Gotcha. Oop. Yes, this will not take long. Good to go. Okay, I guess I if need to move out of the done. way. Which right you are. You don't know remember how to pick locks, Imowen. Okay, Imowen says she can't because she's been practicing as a mage. A little, uh, ah, little Imowen is growing up. Boo has noticed you have changed much since we last saw you. I don't know about that, Minsk. I'm still the same old Imowen. Kind of, anyway. Imowen is now a mighty witch. Surely as mighty as Dinahir once was. Well, maybe I'm a little different now, but I always liked magic. Boo says all birds must leave their nests to frolic and be free, and so must little Imowen. I don't know how much frolicking or freedom we've had lately, Minsk, but don't be sad. I've changed, maybe, but there's still a bit of the old me left. Little Imowen is... Wait a moment. Where are Boo's sunflower seeds? I had them here before. Heh. <laughs> here you are. Well, I told you some things never change. Yeah, but you cannot open locks. Okay, so... I take it we cannot open it this up. Oh. Armor. Um, okay. I could use... 
I could use studded leather. And a helmet, I guess. Splint mail and chain mail for... Oh, and a shield. Shield for Jahira. It's not the greatest armor I've ever used. Almost reminds me of when I started out from Candle Keep so long ago. Okay, splint mail. I'll give to you, Vince. And the shield go to Jahira. Certainly. Now let's see if we can't get her out of here. Well, that is a relief, and about time, too. We should be going immediately. Not only might our host come back, I simply must see the sun again, and none too short a time. This dank place stifles me. We will leave immediately and celebrate once we are out of this hole. As you would have it, though there are other friends we must find as well, it is good to share your company again. Very happy to see you again, Jahira. Changes up quite a bit of her spells. I don't know how long we've been here. It just feels like an eternity. I just want to get out. I don't know where that portal will take us. It could take us right to that blue eyes. And no one knows where to go in our group either. Okay. Well, this is unlocked. Let's go this way. I guess you won't be able to find traps anymore, and I don't have a bow. Guess I'm using my sword. There's some kind of mephit. We've fought these before. Ow. Minsk, you should be at the front. You haven't put on your armor and sh and weapon yet, Minsk. Okay, I've got to toss this to Jahira. Oh, she says she can't use a warhammer. Okay then. Maybe we'll have to go back. Ow. Nice hit, Minsk. Okay, we've got to get another weapon for Jahira. How about a mace? Oh, that's a spear, halberd, axe, katana. Oh, she says she can't use that either. Okay, then. We'll have to find something for you. Hopefully, there's more weapons we'll find in here somewhere. Miss my bow. I feel naked without it. Uh oh. Uh. Certainly. Look here, we can't go this way. Without doubt. Oh, what was that sound? Minsk, unless you can break it like you did with the bars, can you go Where there and Minsk try that? Goes, evil stands aside. Minsk has no luck. While you can, evil. I won't be as gentle. I guess I have to insult him. What is it? Okay. Try Live that thing. Can you force that open? Live a good long time. Can't force the lock either. Quickly and precisely. Okay, so we have no choice but to go this way. 
And if we can't get out this way, I don't know what we're going to do. I do not want to go back to that cage ever again. This portal requires a key of some sort. You cannot step through without this item. What key? Without hesitation. What about going this way then? This is the only way left. Ugh. More dead. Some kind of attack is going on. The bodies of several black-hooded thieves litter the hallway, slaughtered by a massive release of magical energy. From the distant explosions that I can still hear, it seems as if whatever battle killed these men still rages. What is that? This machine buzzes with electrical energy. Oh. Uh. We might be able to, if we pull that switch, turn it off. This will not take long. Ugh. Ow. There's a switch of some kind. Perhaps it will stop this lightning contraption from conjuring any more of these annoying little fits. The lightning machine stops once I have flipped the switch. Okay, let's kill this thing. Speak if it must be done. Strange place. Look at these crystals. This room is dominated by mineral deposits and crystals. It seems to be a natural cavern that this strange prison has been built around. The air holds an aura of power, and several pools with swirling lights grace the edge of the rough cavern. It will be done. It's a pool of water. As I peer into the pool, a void opens and icy tendrils pull up my awareness, demanding that I submit. In horror, I look away and tendrils recede. The pool is calm. All right, all right. <laughs> Imowen, welcome. You have escaped somewhat later than I had hoped. I am Ataka. Ah, I see someone who, whom I must talk to. No offense, Imowen, but I am curious how Orin will react to me. Orin, I have questions. Be not afraid. You have my welcome to my little piece of this place. I do so try to keep it more appealing than the rest. This is... I wonder if this is the Guardian. My thanks, how is it that you know my name? What is going on here? Your path is well known amongst those who watch. Your life's thread is bright indeed, though in your path lies many a dark and frayed end. As to easing your mind and answering such questions as those that surely plague you, it is not my place to do so. I am sorry. Then of what use can you be to me? Such assistance as you will get from me depends on yourself. Are you prepared to answer a question? To what end? Why do you need to ask me a question? I suffer a terrible curiosity. I see paths that branch in a thousand directions, and each a thousand again. But for all I see, Orin remains a mystery. All I wish is a single answer. Tip the scales this once to me, and I shall tip them to you in return. Shall you answer me, or shall you strike out on your own? Okay, I will answer your question if it will lead to you making sense. Then here is my hypothetical question. You and your sibling are captured and locked in separate cells, unable to communicate. The mage responsible appears and speaks. This sounds like what we've been through. He explains his sadistic game. In each cell, there is a magical button. If you press your button and your sibling does not, you will die, but your sibling is free. If your sibling presses the button and you do not, they will die, but you will go free. If neither you nor your sibling presses the buttons, both of you will die. Well, that seems clear to me. If both of you press your respective buttons, both of you will die. Oh. The mage says that you have one turn of the hourglass to decide your action, then he leaves. This is silly. Buttons are not how one escapes dungeons. I would smash the button and rain beatings liber liberally down on the wizard for playing such a trick. Verily, of that I have no doubt, Minsk. But the question is hypothetical and requires an answer born of the wisdom of Orin, not your impatience. Tell me, Orin, do you press the button? If neither of us press the button, we both die. If both of us press at the same time, then we die. Both die. If she presses the button, she dies, and I go free. If I press the button, she I die, and she goes free. 
Though then it's pretty clear to me, I will press the button, and hopefully it won't be at the same time as my sibling. Interesting. No action can be performed without consequences, especially that which follows the noble path. Deal with this, noble one. Okay, this is not what I expected. It was just a question. An ogre mage. Imolin, we're gonna need some of that magical power you have. Sound like these. I wish I had my bow. Ow. If I had my banshee bow, I would have killed it with a couple hits. Well done! It appears you can deal with the consequences of your actions. In return for your indulgence, I offer advice. Seek out Relev. He wants. He waits for such as you. Offer him the release that he craves, and you shall find that the focus of your journey shall soon become apparent. Farewell. Another longsword. this. That's a bit better. What is it? Now we just have to find a bow. Where do we go? There's more pools here. The pool churns and swirls. Strange lights dance within. For a brief tantalizing moment, the pool clears. I watch and wonder as a world is born. In fire and molten rock, lands rise and fall, gaseous liquids snake and pour, and time passes. Eventually, seas are formed, and a spark of life appears. The first organism is created, and plant life begins to slow its slow, inevitable blanketing of this new world. What's in here? The pool churns and swirls. Strange lights dance within. As I stare at the pool, I catch a, catch a glimpse of a cityscape. For a brief moment, with absolute clarity, I watch as the city changes. Ages pass, and the inhabitants drop their primitive tools and ways. Discoveries are made, and the minds of the people change and grow. Every day, grasping a new fact or invention, the image slips away until I see only a pool. Certainly. There's another one over here. Or, I thought there was. Okay, there's not. I don't know where to go. But me as you will. We'll go this way. Oh. Goblins. You will you all by my hand. The life she gave. Well, that wasn't hard. locked. The key I have was used up getting Jahira out, so we don't have a key that can open up everything. Will be done. Really wish you could pick locks, M1. Oh, more goblins. Here's a bow. Ow. The life she gave! That's not right! is getting hurt. Okay, kill these things. Okay, well, it's a short bow. But there's arrows. It's a really crappy quality short bow. But it's something. Certainly. Jahira, I can help with your your injury. Speak. 
Yes. Okay. Without doubt. It's in this room. <laughs> 